Hi, Timothy Unger here, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the use of the module operator. We're going to complete the FizzBuzz challenge. And the FizzBuzz challenge, what you do is you print out numbers 1 through 100. If the number is divisible by 3, instead of printing the number, you print Fizz. If it's divisible by 5, instead of printing 5, you print, or, or the number, you print Buzz. And if it's divisible by 3 and 5, you print FizzBuzz. Okay, so what is the module operator? Well, the module operator uh, tells you what the remainder is when you divide a num number by another number, and you use a percentage sign to do it. So let's get started, and you'll see how we use the module operator. So I'm going to create an integer called i, and that's going to be for my for loop. I'm going to say for i equals 0. i is less than 101 because we're going up to 100. And then we'll increment i by 1 each time through the loop with the i++. Plus plus. And then we're going to handle a few if, else, if, else conditionals. So really, we want to handle if it's divisible by 3 and 5 first. Because if it's divisible by 3 and 5, we don't want to just print fizz. And we would if we had it divisible by 3 first or divisible by 5 first because this one meets this condition and this condition. So we got to handle this one first and go into that, and then we'll have an else if for this condition and this condition. Okay, so if it's divisible by 3 and 5, so the way we can write that is we can say if i modulo 3 is equal to 0. The reason being is if it has a remainder of 0, it's divisible by that number. Okay, and if i modulo 5 is equal to 0, well, then we're going to print f fizz buzz. And we'll put a slash in just to bring it down to the next line after we do that. Now we can use an else if and handle the condition of i modulo 3 equal to 0. Okay. In that particular case, we're going to print f just fizz and put a slash in there. Now we want to handle the condition of, so we'll do use another else if of i modulo 5 equal to 0. We're going to print f now buzz, okay? And then we'll do a slash in there put a semicolon. And then finally, if it's not divisible by 3 or 5, we want to have an else statement. And within the else statement, we just want to print the actual number. So we're going to pass in an integer and have a slash n for formatting. And we're passing in i. At the end of our main function, we want to simply return 0. Okay, I'm going to save our function. Let's open up a terminal. And let's compile this into modulo. And now let's run it. And we see we have, we start off with uh, fizzbuzz. Ah, we made one mistake. Okay, so let's leave the mistake and let's exit out. And the mistake we made was starting i at 0, because technically when 0 is divisible by anything, it's not the other way around. If you divide by 0, you can't do that, but you can divide 0 by anything and get a remainder of 0. So we have to start with 1, okay? So that is a mistake you could make. It's a mistake I just made, so be cognizant of that. All right, and now uh, let's recompile and rerun. Okay, and now we have it starting at 1, 2, fizz, 4, buzz, 6 is divisible by 3, 7, 8, 9 is divisible by 3, 10 is divisible by 5. We get up to 15, we get fizz, buzz. Uh, we get that 30, 45, so on and so forth. All the way up to our last number is 100, which is divisible by 5, 99 is divisible by 3. So we get fizz and then buzz after 98. I hope this video was interesting. If it was, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications as it really does help the channel grow. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. 
Have a great day. Bye.